جامعة حلب كلية الشريعة السنة الأولى كتاب اللغة الإنجليزية الوحدة الرابعة تقدمه مبادرة الضوء بصوت وصال بارة نغطي هذا التسجيل من الصفحة رقم 78 وحتى الصفحة رقم 88 B Reading 2 Unget Siva Many critics have studied Kafka's stories. Read the following explanation of the metamorphosis. Think about what Kafka was trying to say in this story. بداية النص أنكت سيفا الفقرة الأولى The metamorphosis is a short story which is both funny and sad at the same time. It is funny because of how Gregor must learn how to move his new cockroach legs and body. On the other hand, it is sad because he loses the love of his family as a result of his becoming so disgusting. الفقرة الأولى بتحكي عن التحول واللي هي عبارة عن قصة قصيرة بتكون مضحكة وحزينة بنفس الوقت مضحكة لأنه شخصية كريجر لازم تتعلم كيف تحرك جسمها ورجليها اللي هن طبعا تحولوا لصرصور ومن ناحية أخرى هي حزينة لأنه كريجر خسر حب عائلته لأنه هو تحول لشخص أو لكائن مقرف الفقرة الثانية Why did Kafka choose to tell a story about a man who turns into a cockroach? Certainly, many people are afraid of cockroaches and other insects. They think cockroaches are ugly and disgusting. Why would Kafka choose something that most of us hate? What was his purpose? الفقرة الثانية بتقول إنه ليش كافكا اختار يحكي قصة عن رجل بيتحول لصرصور بالتأكيد العديد من الأشخاص بيكرهوا الصراصير والحشرات الأخرى هن بيعتقدوا إنه الصراصير مخلوقات بشعة ومؤرفة فليش كافكا اختار إنه يحكي على شيء معظمنا بيكرهه شو كان غرضه الفقرة الثالثة Many critics have written their ideas about Kafka's purpose. One explanation comes from a word that Kafka used in his story. Kafka wrote his story in German, and he used the German word ungeziefer, or vermin, which can be used to mean a person who is rough and disgusting. In English, we do the same thing. If we call a person a cockroach, we mean that the person is weak and cowardly. Grigor, the man is like a cockroach. He is weak and disgusting. Why? Because he doesn't want to be the supporter of his family. He hates his job and wishes he didn't have to do it in order to pay off the family debt. In addition, his family has been like a parasite to him. Grigor's family members have all enjoyed relaxing, not working, while he alone has had to work. When he becomes a cockroach, He becomes the parasite to the family. So Gregor's true self is metamorphosed into an insect because his true self wants to be like a child again, helpless and having no responsibility. الفقرة الثالثة بتقول إنه العديد من النقاد كتبوا أفكارهم حول غرض كافكا. إحدى التفسيرات إجت من كلمة استخدمها كافكا بإسطو. كافكا كتب إسطو بالألمانية واستخدم الكلمة الألمانية أو اللي التاني بالإنجليزية فيرمن واللي هي الحيوانات أو الحشرات الطفيلية يلي بتنقل الأمراض وبيكون من الصعب أنه نتحكم فيها ويمكن استخدام هاي الكلمة لتعطي معنى الشخص اللي بيكون غليظ ومؤرف باللغة الإنجليزية نحن بنعمل شي نفسه إذا دعينا أو اسمينا شخص كوكروتش صرصور فنحن يعني عم نقول أنه هالشخص ضعيف وجبان غريغر هو مثل الصرصور هو كان ضعيف ومؤرف ليش؟ لأنه هو ما كان بده يكون الداعم لعيلته هو بيكره شغله وبيتمنى أنه ما كان عليه أنه يشتغل لحتى يوفي ديون عيلته بالإضافة لهالشي عيلته كانت مثل الطفيلة بالنسبة له لأنه كل أفراد عيلته كانوا عم يستمتعوا بالراحة وما عم يشتغلوا بينما هو الوحيد اللي عم يشتغل بالعيلة 
هو تحول لسرسور هو صار طفيلي بالنسبة لعيلته لهيك ذات جريجر الحقيقية تحولت لحشرة لأنه ذاته الحقيقية تتمنى أنه هو يكون طفل من جديد ما عنده مسؤوليات وما بيحمل أي هم الفقرة الرابعة Another explanation comes from Kafka's relationship with his father. Kafka was a small, quiet man. He saw himself as weak and spineless compared to his father, who was physically large and had a powerful personality. It is the same with Grigor. He also sees himself as a failure. By turning himself into an insect, Grigor is able to rebel against his father and at the same time punish himself for rebelling. This punishment results in his being physically and emotionally separated from his family, with no hope of joining them again, and finally he dies. بتقول الفقرة الرابعة إنه في تفسير آخر بينبع من علاقة كافكا بوالده، لأنه كافكا كان رجل صغير وهادئ، هو كان بيشوف نفسه ضعيف مقارنة بأبوه اللي كانت بنيته جسدية قوية ضخمة وكان عنده شخصية قوية، والأمر نفسه بينطبق على كريجر، فهو كمان كان يشوف نفسه كفشل، من خلال تحوله لحشرة فجريجر. تمكن من انه يتمرد على والده وبنفس الوقت يعاقب نفسه على هالتمرد وهالعقاب ادى لانه يصير جريجور شخص منفصل جسديا وعاطفيا عن عائلته وبدون ما يكون في امل انه يرجع ينضم لهم من جديد وبالنهايه هو بيموت الفقره الخامسه Kafka's choice of an insect makes this story work because many people fear insects are disgusting. Gregor becomes the vermin, the disgusting son that nobody cares about. His family rejects him because of his appearance, yet he continues to love them to the end. اختيار كافكا للحشرة بيخلي هاي القصة ناجحة لأنه العديد من الأشخاص بيكرهوا الحشرات وبظنوا إنه هي مقرفة. غريجور بيصير هالحيوان أو هالحشرة الطفيلية هالابن المقرف اللي ما حدا بيهتم له عيلته بترفضه بسبب مظهره ولكن هو بيستمر إنه يحبهم لحتى النهاية نهاية النص السؤال الأول Answer these questions on a separate piece of paper. Number one. Do the critics think this is a funny story, a sad story, or a happy story, and why? Number two. Why do the critics think Kafka chose to have Grigor turn into a cockroach, not an animal? Number three. What kind of relationship do the critics think Grigor had with his family, and how did that affect his feeling about himself? Number four. What is the critic's opinion of Grigor at the end of the story? C. Linking readings 1 and 2. Now compare the critic's ideas with your own ideas in reacting to the reading. Exercise 2, page 62. Were you as critical of Grigor as the professional critics? Were you less critical? al الثالث. Focus on vocabulary. السؤال الأول Look at the pairs of sentences below from the metamorphosis. What do you notice about the relationship between the underlined words? Number one A. He begun to think about his job as a traveling salesman. B. He started to think about his job as a traveling salesman. الكلمات اللي تحت خط من begun و started. Number two A. He hated his job, but he had to do it to support his father, mother, and sister because his father no longer worked. B. He hated his work, but he had to do it to support his father, mother, and sister because his father no longer worked. الكلمات اللي تحت الخط هنن job. Work. الجواب The bears of words above are called synonyms. Because they have a similar meaning, a synonym might also give a more specific or precise meaning of a word. For example, knocking on the door is more specific than hitting the door. العلاقة بيناتهم هي الترادف. السؤال الثاني. Look at the following pairs of sentences. Compare sentence B with 
sentence A in each item. How does the meaning change when you use a different synonym? Circle your opinion about the new meaning for each pair of sentences. Then discuss the variation in meanings with the class. Number 1. A. One morning, Grigor, Samsa, woke up from a bad dream and realized he was some kind of terrible insect. Number B. One morning, Grigor, Samsa, woke up from a bad dream and understood he was some kind of terrible insect. Realized and understood. A. New meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. Number 2. A. Surely, as soon as he got out of bed, he would realize this had all been a bad dream. Surely. بالتأكيد. B. Certainly. As soon as he got out of bed, he would realize this had all been a bad dream. Certainly. بالتأكيد. Certainly and surely. A. No meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. Number 3. A. All of a sudden, he heard a knock at the door. B. All of a sudden, he heard a tap at the door. Knock and tap. A. New meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. Number 4. A. The manager and Grigor's family did not understand a single word he said, for his speech was now the hiss of an insect. B. The manager and Grigor's family did not comprehend a single word he said, for his speech was now the hiss of an insect. Understood. Fahim. Comprehend. Fahim. O. Stawab. A. New meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. Number 5. A. At the sight of him, the manager screamed, his mother fainted, and his father wept. B. At the sight of him, the manager screamed, his mother fainted, and his father cried. Screamed. Saracha. Fainted. Oghma alayha. Wept. Beka. A. No meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. S number 6. A. But when he tasted it, it tasted terrible, and he turned away in disgust. B. But when he tasted it, it tasted awful, and he turned away in disgust. Terrible for the air. Awful for the air. A. New meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. Number 7. A. She picked up the bowl and soon returned with some old vegetable, bones, and smelly cheese, which she offered to him. B. She picked up the bowl and soon returned with some old vegetables, bones, and stinky cheese, which she offered to him. Smelly, lahu ra'iha. Stinky, lahu ra'iha. A. New meaning. B. Similar meaning. C. More general. D. More specific. Number 8. A. The first few didn't hurt him, but then one pierced his body and he felt terrible pain. B. The first few didn't hurt him, but then one entered his body and he felt terrible pain. Pierced. Thakaba. Entered. Takhala. A. New meaning. B. Similar. C. More general. D. More specific. السؤال الثالث هذا السؤال مهم جدا Complete the crossword puzzle Read the clues below and choose words from the box الكلمات اللي بدنا نعبيهم بفراغات هن Beat يعني يضرب أو يقرأ Brave شجاع Cockroach صرصور Couch أريكة Grab يأخذ الشيء بسرعة Manage to تمكن من Metamorphosis هي التحول Screamed, Saracha. Soothed, Hattaa. Useless, 
بدون فائدة Number one They فراغ When they saw all the cockroaches on the floor الجواب هو Screamed They screamed when they saw all the cockroaches on the floor Number two I think that people who are not afraid of snakes are very فراغ الجواب هو Brave I think that people who are not afraid of snakes are very brave. Number three, I'm going to rest on the فراغ and watch TV. جواب هو couch. I'm going to rest on the couch and watch TV. Number four, it was difficult, but she, فراغ, finished her research paper on time. جواب هو managed to. It was difficult, but she managed to finish her research paper on the time. Number five, the most disgusting insect is a فراغ. جواب هو cockroach. The most disgusting insect is a cockroach. Number six. The baby was فراغ by the soft music. جواب هو soothed. The baby was soothed by the soft music. Number seven. This old bicycle is فراغ. The gears are broken. جواب هو useless. This old bicycle is useless. The gears are broken. Number eight. The musician in the marching band, فراغ, the drum loudly. جواب هو beat. The musician in the marching band beat the drum loudly. Number 9. A caterpillar changing into a butterfly is one stage in the process of فراغ. جواب هو metamorphosis. A caterpillar changing into a butterfly is one stage in the process of metamorphosis. Number 10. Hurry up, فراغ. Your coat and let's go. جواب هو grab. Hurry up, grab your coat, let's go. القسم الرابع Focus on writing. A. Style. Paraphrasing. To paraphrase a sentence means to say it in a different way, using your own words. The meaning of the original sentence doesn't change, but the words do. You can paraphrase sentences by using synonyms or by wording phrases differently. Look at the following sentences from the reading and notice how they have been changed. Jumla al-asliya, original. I hate my job. Jumla al-a'id siyagata, paraphrase. I don't like my job. I hate my job. I don't like my job. Original. It was his, his manager who had come to see why he was late. Paraphrase, it was his boss who had come to find out why he was late. Original, lately your work has not been very good. Paraphrase, recently your work has been bad. السؤال الأول Paraphrase the sentences below. Replace the underlined word or words in the original sentence with a synonym. Or phrase that has a similar meaning. سؤال بيقول إنه لازم نعيد صياغة الجمل اللي تحت. لازم نستبدل الكلمة أو الكلمات بالجملة الأصلية بمرادف إلى أو بعبارة إلى نفس المعنى. Number one, I was sick, but now I feel much better. لازم نعيد صياغة much better. جواب, I was sick, but now I feel fine. Much better, fine. Number two. The manager begun to back out of the room to leave. لازم نعيد صياغة manager begun. Number three. But when he tasted it, it tasted terrible and he turned away in disgust. لازم نكتب مرادف لكلمة tasted terrible. Number four. And so the days passed for she was the only one brave enough to come into the room. لازم نكتب مرادف أو نعيد صياغة to come into. Number five. His mother ran to his father to beg him not to kill Gregor. لازم نكتب مرادف لا to beg و kill. السؤال الثاني. Paraphrase the sentences or phrases below. You can replace any of the words or phrases. Make sure that your paraphrase has the same meaning as the original. Number one. Yes, mother. I am getting up now. لازم نعيد صياغة العبارة بطريقة إلى نفس المعنى. Number two. Because his father no longer worked. Number three. 
The manager and Gregor's family did not understand a single word he said. Number four. This cannot go on. Number five. Again, his mother screamed while the manager disappeared out the door. B. Grammar. Infinitives of purpose. هلا رح نحكي عن قاعدة وهي الأفعال اللي بتكون بالمصدر وبتعبر عن غاية أو غرض. السؤال الأول. Read the following sentences. Underline the verbs that have the form to plus verb. What questions do these verbs answer? لازم نقرا الجمل ونحدد الفعل اللي شكله بيكون to زائد verb. Number one. Gregor worked to support his family. Number two. His sister whispered to him to ask if he was all right. Number three, he rocked back and forth to get out of bed. Infinitives of purpose. ويعني المصادر اللي عم تكون عم تعبر عن غاية أو هدف. Look at the questions and answers below. Questions. Why did Gregor work? Answer. He had to support his family. Question. Why did his sister whisper to him? Answer. She wanted to ask if he was all right. Question. Why did he rock back and forth? Answer. He rocked back and forth in order to get out of bed. هلا عنا جملة بتقول إنه infinitives that are used to explain the purpose of an action are called infinitives of purpose. They answer the question why. هي بتعني إنه الأفعال اللي بتكون بالمصدر هي تستخدم واللي تستخدم لتفسر غاية من فعل ما. فنحن بنسميها infinitives of purpose. وهي الأفعال بتجاوب على السؤال اللي بيبدأ بواي. هون لازم نركز منيح إنه هالسؤال ممكن يجي فراغات أو صح وخطأ. وفي كلمات مفتاحية مثل infinitives the purpose, infinitive of purpose. وواي هي ممكن تكون فراغات. You can also use the longer form in order to plus verb. فينا نستخدم الشكل المطول أكثر من to plus the verb واللي هو in order to plus verb. هلا عنا أمثلة. Gregor worked to support his family. His sister whispered to him to ask him if he was all right. Gregor worked in order to support his family. His sister whispered to him in order to ask if he was all right. Question number two. Match the questions on the left with the answers on the right. Questions. Number one. Why did the Gregor's manager come to his house? الجواب هو دي والجملة اللي بتقول He wanted to see why Gregor was late. Question number two. Why was Gregor locked in his room? الجواب هو هو F والجملة بتقول His family wanted to keep him there. Question number three. Why did his father grab a walking stick and newspaper? الجواب هو G والجملة بتقول He wanted to beat Gregor. Question number four. Why did Greet go into Gregor's room every day? الجواب هو A والجملة بتقول She needed to feed him. Question number five. Why did Gregor follow Greet into the dining room? الجواب هو C والجملة بتقول He wanted to help her. Question number six. Why did Gregor come out of his room? الجواب هو B والجملة بتقول He wanted to listen to music. Question number seven. Why did his family take a train ride? الجواب هو E. والجملة بتقول They wanted to celebrate his death. Question number three. Now combine the questions and answers to make sentences that answer the question why. بدنا نجمع الأجوب الأسئلة والأجوبة فوق ونشكل جملة بتجاوب على السؤال اللي بيبدأ ب لماذا why. الجملة الأولى هي مثال وبدنا نحل على هالنسق. Gregor's manager came to his house to see why he was late. 
لازم نكمل على هالمساق الثبائي الجمل السبعة القسم C Writing Topics Choose one of the following topics Write two or three paragraphs using some of the vocabulary, grammar and style you learned in this unit بدنا نكتب عن أحد هاي المواضيع فقرتين أو ثلاث فقرات ونستخدم فيهم المفردات والقواعد والستايل اللي تعلمنا نحن بهاي الوحدة Topic number one Choose a short story from your home country about insects or animals and write it in English or use your imagination to write your own short story about insects or animals لازم نختار قصة قصيرة من بلدك تحكي عن الحيوانات أو الحشرات ونكتبها باللغة الإنجليزية أو نستخدم خيالنا لحتى نألف قصة جديدة عنهم Topic number two Explain your reaction to the metamorphosis. Did you like the story or not? Why? Which character in the story was the most interesting to you? Why? لازم نفسر بهالتوبيك الرياكشن تبعنا رد الفعل تبعنا تجاه التحول اللي صار هل أعجبتنا القصة أو لا وليش وشو الكاركتر شو الشخصية اللي كانت كتير مشوقة أو مثيرة للاهتمام بالنسبة لنا وليش توبيك نمبر ثري Horror movies are very popular. Why do you think people like to watch them? Include examples of popular horror movies. الفكرة الثالثة بتقول إنه الأفلام الرعب هي كتير مشهورة هالفترة. ليش الأشخاص بيحبوا يشاهدوا هذا النوع من الأفلام؟ لازم نكتب أمثلة عن أفلام الرعب المشهورة. قسم D. Research topics. Number one. Animal or insect story. Go to the library or a local bookstore and find a short story about an animal or, or insect to read. Draw or paint a large illustration of the story. Give an oral presentation about the story you chose. You might like to explain the title. Say what country the story comes from and then tell the story. بدنا نعمل research أو بحث صغير عن قصة أريناها بتخص حيوان أو حشرة. Number two, metamorphosis of an insect or a frog. Read about the metamorphosis of an insect, such as a butterfly or an amphibian, such as a frog. Write about the metamorphosis process by paraphrasing, not copying the information. Make a diagram of the metamorphosis process. Submit a copy of the original text with your report so your teacher can check your paraphrasing. Give a presentation of your information to the class. لازم نكتب قصة تحول حشرة أو ضفدع مثلا ونكتب مراحل هالعملية من خلال إعادة صياغة القصة والمعلومات مو ننسخ المعلومات. For step-by-step -step practice in the writing process, see Writing Activity Book Intermediate Unit 4. Assignment, pre-writing, organizing, revising, editing, folk tale, free writing, telling a story with a moral, writing dialogue, using infinitives of purpose, using quotation marks. Nihayat al